they always have an alternate. Right. Because they have to worry about weather and that kind of thing. So, sure, there's an alternate site. Although, I started thinking about this. Optically, Texas looks a lot more, everything's fine, it's more right. favorable than California does when you look at mandate. Especially L.A. County, yeah. which is the toughest. And the authorities yeah. could literally, with no notice, shut down the stadium and say no Super Bowl for you. But we don't have anything like that planned. It doesn't look like health officials are leaning that way. So at this moment, Super Bowl at SoFi Stadium and Eagle Road goes on. Novak Djokovic is the number one ranked men's tennis player and he's currently in jail. Kind of. He's in immigration detention. He was going to Australia playing the Australian Open. He will not reveal if he's vaccinated or not. So the state government of Victoria gave him an exemption to allow him to come play. But the federal government stopped him and said, oh, we're canceling your visa and you're not getting in. So he's in custody waiting to be deported and we're not sure what kind of legal action he may try to uh, get a court to overturn the government's decision and let him go on and play. You wonder, I mean, this is a big tournament. Mm -hmm. This is the Australian, uh, Australia Open, one of the major, major tournament, tournament, tournament. And he's willing to get that up because he doesn't tell us that he's vaccinated with the government is not a tournament. And uh, I wonder how many more he's willing to give up. Because you go to France for a second, you're not going to the French Open. Uh, you come to, uh, what is your citizen? Uh, is he a citizen? Uh, he's not even a U.S. citizen. No. Okay, so uh, you're not a citizen, so it's not uh, no thank you. Uh, because we have visa requirements, or you have to test negative. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Boy, I'll tell you, I, you have to give credit to these people who have, uh, all the conviction in the world. I'll give up my military career. I'll give up my police career uh, because I don't want to tell anybody, and certainly I don't want to be forced to be vaccinated. Yeah, I tell you, these people, uh, they, they've got balls. They, they're really uh, following their convictions. This is kind of Very well said. Federal judges ruled that Vanessa Bryant's lawsuit over those unauthorized photos taken at a helicopter crash that killed Kobe Bryant, his daughter, and seven others can go to trial. The lawsuit says that Bryant did experience emotional distress because of the photos that were shared with L.A. County Sheriff's deputies and firefighters. She could have experienced. There's a lot of, of a right. factual basis there that the judge is going to go to trial. To get a summary judgment, to get a dismissal, fairly, fairly hard. You almost have to admit in your pleadings there's no case. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating too, uh, too much either. Well, it, I think it's this. The judge has to find that even if you prove everything that you're alleging, you still have no case. Here, the judge is saying, I don't know if you can prove that you had emotional distress because of the photos, but if you can prove it, you have a case. So you be, you're allowed to try to prove it. Air New Zealand is the world's safest airline. Uh, no, not in Qantas. Usually it's Qantas, this time it's Air New Zealand, but what's interesting is, normally you would take a look at Qantas. Now, in a COVID world, they look at Qantas. They also look at things like a near miss on a runway. Qantas had a near miss where one of their planes almost hit another plane on the ground. That got to them some points. They're also looking at COVID protocols to decide which airline is the case. Uh, and also, uh, one of the reasons uh, that uh, Air uh, New Zealand is uh, pretty high up, uh, the, uh, uh, the average age of the fleet is 6.8 years. That's considered a brand, brand new fleet. You ever walk up, here's what I do, and uh, it, it, there, there's no kidding here. If you look at the, the door, you know, the VIN number you see on your car, uh, they do the same thing with airplanes. As you walk in, there's a little metal... Uh, it gives a metal stamp, a piece of stamp metal yeah. uh, that's screwed into the door and it gives the serial number of the airplane, it gives the date it was certified, the date it was manufactured, uh, and I always check it out, and then sometimes I pull uh, the uh, steward person over and I go, you understand this airplane is older than your parents? Scott Fines, unless you take the picture of every single one, 
and he has a great joke in spreadsheet to see how many times he's flown on the air. That's fantastic. Super Mario. Yeah, and it really gives you an uh, uh, idea. And apparently that doesn't really mean anything because the uh, mass scare, two of them went down, and they were, in one case, I think, a month early. That was a little tough. Usually, I'm going to be a little bit of a Just let you know how long the airplanes can last. B 52s, the uh, military airplane, or you know, huge, huge airplanes, uh, long range and very heavyweight bombers. There are Super people flying those whose grandparents flew the same airplane or the same business. They keep planes up in the air for a while, don't they? We're done. Coming up, historic lamps being uh, stolen off of uh, an L.A. bridge. Very famous. Iconic bridge. Iconic lamp. And uh, I've got a personal story to share with you, too. This is KFI AM for 40. Let's check in with Jennifer. <laughs> The CDC says everyone 12 and older should get a COVID-19 booster shot to help fight the contagious Omicron mutant. A mutation, boosters are already encouraged for Americans 16 and older, but yesterday the CDC endorsed an extra Pfizer shot for 12 to 15 year olds. News is brought to you by American Vision Windows. We're getting super a superior course that calls for traffic courts, civil cases, small claims, and other hearings to move online because of COVID-19. Presiding Judge Eric Glass says, fortunately, more than 65% of the jury pool is showing up. We've been lucky that so few of the North Carolina community uh, has answered the call to the city. Uh, Helping jurors are coming in. This allows us to continue with class. L.A. County has also postponed jury trials for two weeks because of the winter COVID surge. The Golden Globes Award Ceremony will go on this Sunday despite the COVID cases. There will be no red carpet and no A-list celebrities. Everyone there will have to be vaccinated, boosted, and able to show proof of a recent negative COVID test. A family says their grandma with dementia has been moved to a different hospital after she disappeared from St. Francis Med Center in Linwood. Amanda Kersa, uh, Chris Kassar says the woman's granddaughter, she is the woman's granddaughter, says the hospital called, said her grandma was missing the day after paramedics took her there. She says her family searched the hospital grounds for their grandma on Tuesday by themselves. The whole time that we're searching the hospital, at no point do we think we would run into security helping us. Nothing. The woman's husband ended up finding the grandma on their front porch. The hospital has not responded to the comments. And the pet chicken people over pets. Pope Francis says people who choose to have pets instead of children are acting selfishly. The Pope is talking about parenthood to a general audience at the Vatican where he said pets instead of kids is a denial of fatherhood and motherhood which diminishes us and takes away our humanity. He says those who can't have children should consider adoption. He says countries with declining birth rates are going through a demographic winter. The Pope then seen petting animals from dogs to panthers, so he probably doesn't hate animals, although he's not believed to have pets. Or two. Michael Fraser, KFIU. We're looking at the 6057 merge. That's the good news. By the way, I'm also for Kid Dent. Uh, great news. Now, if we were listening a long time ago, in the last hour, and we're going to head this way, it was just tough spotters where the East 60 and the North 67 come together as grand, and then that, for some reason, white lane transition to continue North 57, kind of mind is open. So if we headed this way, it's going to be a little slower train, but uh, uh, the transition built in with uh, un unfortunately a fatal virus investigation. It's all done. Now getting up here, we had a good look at the 605 coming down from the 60. Still a pretty good day, so I think it will go to Washington going down towards the I-5. Our northbound 405 was a little slow, uh, getting through the 110, but after that, it's a pretty good shape up to LA. Uh, have a good look at San Francisco and the 210 freeways coming up. Major day next year, this is Superwoman, Superwater.com. Just from AFI in the sky. The world's number one ranked men's tennis player met with an unwelcoming committee in Australia. Novak Djokovic, who will not reveal his vaccination status, was granted an exemption by the government of Victoria State to play in the Australia Open. He was, however, denied entry into the country by national authorities at the Melbourne airport who canceled his visa. Here's hockey. The LA Kings get the Nashville Predators at 7.30. And you can hear that match live through the iHeartRadio app. And the Ducks host the Detroit Red Wings at 7 on their record. KFI Sports. A uh, refinance in your home uh, makes uh, not only all the sense in the world, but time is here. Time is about to essence. As Ted has already said, 
but interest rates are going up sooner than later, and they're going to go up several times this year. Well, when those interest rates go up, uh, the mortgage rate follows, uh, and so you're going to get stuck. How about taking the equity out of your house, which is you have tons of right now, and borrowing against the equity at these rates before the Fed goes up? And that's what HMS Capital is about. The only, only lender I know that encourages you to apply with multiple lenders, competitors. HMS Capital is that confident uh, they can get you the best deal. Call 833-255-5698, 833-255-5698, visit hmscapital.com. SoCal weather from KFI, it's a sunny day ahead and warmer. Temperatures today will be in the upper 60s and lower 70s. We'll pull it back down into the 60s for tomorrow. We leave local, live from the KFI 24-hour newsroom. I'm Jennifer Jones-Lee. This is your moment. The moment to care for your aging parents or grandparents. To be there to help them when they truly need it. To lend a helping hand, or just a hand to hold. If you have an ailing parent or grandparent, paid family leave can provide you with up to eight weeks of partial wage replacement to give you the time you need to give them the attention they need. This is your moment. Take it. To learn more, visit CaliforniaPaidFamilyLeave.com. Moment now. Neo U is my new favorite fitness app, and at $3.99 a month, I can't believe everything I get. Real-time coaching, daily live workouts where I can see my friends, plus thousands of on-demand classes like strength, boot camp, yoga, and more. I'm obsessed with Neo U's interactive workouts where my instructors can see and talk to me. And when you sign up for a 60-day free trial by January 31st, you'll pay just $3.99 a month. Sign up now at neoufitness.com. That's neoufitness.com. Pass call mortgage to the DBA of Impact Mortgage Corp. MMLS ID 128231. Not all applicants will qualify. Equal housing lender. Licensed by California Department of Financial Protection and Innovation. Residential Mortgage Lending Act License Number 4131083. Not licensed in all states, including New York. Call 855-657-9910 for licensing terms and restrictions. Or visit passcallmortgage.com. This year, what are your financial goals? Home improvement? Paying off bills? That dream vacation? Put cash for mortgage on top of your New Year's to-do list while mortgage interest rates are low. Because along with the New Year is the talk of rising interest rates. A cash call mortgage refund could help make 2022 a whole lot happier. You could reduce your current interest rate and start saving money with a lower monthly payment. And with a cash out refund, you may even make it a win-win with the cash you need now and a lower rate and monthly payment. Make sure your New Year financial dreams come true with cash call mortgage. For a free quote to see if you qualify, go to cashcallmortgage.com. Or call now. Call 800-633-0861. That's 800-633-0861. 800-633-0861. There's red, blue, and then there's you. You are a free thinker and believe the best idea should win no matter whose idea that is. At KFI AM640, we give you all the news you need and a variety of opinions. You make up your own mind. Open to know Live, local, and independent, KFI AM640 made independent thinkers like you. Direction, the attack on uh, the Capitol building. And so uh, the president and vice president just one spoke. Just finished up uh, a little while ago, maybe half an hour ago. And uh, there'll be a lot of coverage today. And particularly, uh, me and the rest of us will be looking at the ancillary demonstrations around the country. I don't think we know if they near the Capitol, but state houses, city council, chambers, don't know what's going to happen. So I'm going to share with you a story about a bridge, uh, a viaduct. Uh, it's called the Glendale Hyperion uh, Viaduct in, in Glendale. And it is, uh, uh, the whole bridge is built in the 20s. It's absolutely gorgeous. And on top of that, the lighting, the lampposts were put up in the late 20s uh, for lighting. And I mean, just gorgeous. 1920s deco lighting 
and they can't be replaced. I mean, they can be replaced with replicas, but they can't really be replaced. Those are the original ones, and it's a piece of Southern California history, and it's just, I mean, they're wonderful. And they're being sold. And they're being actually sawed off at the bottom and taken. It used to be that uh, a lot of these were taken just for the copper content of uh, the, uh, the interior of uh, the wind electricity up to the lamp. Uh, that they can do something about. I mean, it's pain, it's expensive. Uh, they replace uh, the wiring, but you don't lose the lamp. Now, we're losing the lamp. And uh, it, is, it is horrific. It really is. They don't know who's doing it at this point. I would think uh, you can put up uh, security cameras and find out. Uh, because it, uh, even a few days ago, some more were sold. So uh, yesterday, after an article here was printed in the LA Times, the city announced, uh, the uh, Glendale uh, announced that it would remove and store all of the remaining lights as a precaution. They're taking away all the lights and storing them, and it will be replaced by temporary lighting, which is sort of cheap, ugly, concrete, modernistic, and they just don't look uh, very good. So, uh, and I love this one. The department's senior information uh, director uh, said, and this was during a, uh, a statement or a conference and interview, we believe that there were or are roughly 60 to 70 historic lights along the bridge, which leaves about 20 to 30 lights left on the bridge. And I don't know what I'm missing here. How hard does it go to, how difficult it is to go on the bridge and go one, two, three, four, and sort of count them. Roughly 60 to 70 historic lights. Oh, okay. And, uh, it, and this is a story uh, about L.A. And L.A. is not a particularly historic city. Um, a lot of it was built in the 20s uh, and post-war. I mean, it's not Boston, it's not New York, it's not Charleston. It's been around for 150, 200 years. Uh, it's L.A., Southern California. So I want to share a story with you. Uh, I used to live on uh, a street called Mansfield in uh, sort of uh, Hancock Park adjacent. And uh, there were, and the buildings were all built in the 20s. They're all massive duplexes, and we had one of them. And there were the historic lampposts that were beautiful to the point where uh, any film company needed a street scene of 1920s Los Angeles. They filmed there uh, on the street. The housing, the lighting, I mean, all of it. Just take all the cars away and put in some. Uh, antique cars that, uh, of that era, and there you go. Now, there was uh, a plan to remove those lights and replace them with modern lights because they upkeep on those lights are expensive, uh, they're not efficient, and somebody in the city decided we're going to replace historic, beautiful, uh, non-replaceable lighting with something more efficient and far uglier. And so they were actually delivering the new lights. They were on, they were on trucks uh, that were parked. And uh, my wife said, so, no, we're not going to do it. I'm going to stop those lights from being installed. I said, they're already on trucks. They're right there. All they're doing is unscrewing the old lights. They're probably going to sell them at auction or whatever. And installing the new ones. It's enough. We're going to take care of it. So she called the city, city council person, raised such a fuss, she was able to pull it off. She was actually able to stop new lighting coming in while the, uh, while the lighting had been delivered already. And the city pulled it. And I thought that was kind of neat. But here's the difference. Uh, you had a council person in that district who appreciated the historical significance. Also, the area I had, you know, how much film companies spend in terms of uh, filming commercials and movies, TV shows, and the neighborhood. Uh, so it was uh, pretty impressive.
recognizing how important they, that the old white man is. If you had to be in a neighborhood or drive up or pass a bean or a great bridge or whatever, it's an old bridge, I'll forget which one is flowing with each magnificent uh, sweet lighting pool. Right. So, uh, Robert, Henry. Uh, we are the new technology, the new kind of light.